Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and this cross watching, and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look and see um, what is blocking your current romantic energy. Okay, so I want you to take a moment and focus on your partner and focus on the areas that you would like to help um, alleviate some of that blockage, some of the areas in which you want to um, block. Like for instance, if they're not very good at communicating, how can we unblock some of that energy there? If they're not emotion expressive or if they're very closed off what exactly is blocking them is it internal issues is it external is it third parties what's preventing them from you know opening themselves up here this is going to be a general reading so therefore the messages are going to be general so keep in please keep that in mind if you're after personal tarot reading with myself feel free to reach out and inquire i will list my email address just below the video here so once again take a moment fixate on your person's focus on your person's energy here and hopefully we'll get some helpful hints in trying to unblock some of their energy Okay, so this is interesting, but I feel like your partner or your romantic energy, okay, first and foremost, they definitely have trust issues. They have been burnt in the past. They have been betrayed or backstabbed by someone that they really loved and cared about. And as a result, this has really, um, it's created a lot of trust issues in them. So you'll find that your person is not as easily open or isn't as, you know, sharing as you want them to be purely because they may be a little bit suspicious and fearful of your intentions towards them or purely because your person is has been overwhelmed and has been really wounded in the past and they don't want to make the same past mistakes they don't want for the past to repeat itself so they're scared they're keeping you at arm's distance or they're sort of keeping themselves at a distance because they don't want to get hurt they don't want to be burned in the past and naturally they're suspicious by people there have been people around them close connecting energies that have lied to them that haven't always been entirely honest with them that haven't had the best intentions and unfortunately your partner your person here has found out in a very hurtful and painful way they had to find out in a very painful way so this is what's keeping them so closed off or so emotionally guarded is because they have been hurt in the past and it's been very painful and just they're so scared of history repeating itself. So they're very suspicious, I can tell. They're very suspicious. It's hard for you. I mean, don't try and personalize this. It's not to say that they're suspicious of you, but they're just suspicious of people in general and their intentions for them. They're, they're naturally quite guarded and closed off. There is also a third party situation around your person. I feel like there is someone else around your person. Now, Either your person is still stuck on this person, it could be an ex, or it could be a friend, it could be like a missed opportunity, and your person still dwells on it, and I feel like your person isn't, hasn't entirely moved on from them, or if it's not them per se, then it's definitely lingering emotions, okay, so for instance, it could be an ex, and they might have moved on from the ex, but they may not have moved on from the hurt, the pain, and the trauma that they felt or experienced with the ex, so maybe that's what's keeping them stuck here. They're also quite undecided when it comes to relationships. They have, they definitely have trust issues. They have commitment issues. They definitely are insecure. I can see that your person's energy is very insecure. They've been with the Five of Swords. They've been involved with wrong people in the past, and not just romantically. I feel like maybe in business and professional too. Well, I've meant I've mentioned that they've been backstabbed. I mean, they've had their trust broke, broken and they've been betrayed. And this is why they're so guarded now. This is why they feel like they have to keep people at a distance, keep your friends close, your enemies close, this sort of thing, because they feel like everyone is out to get them. They're so suspicious. I feel like they're naturally suspicious. And then they had to undergo these and experience these unfortunate experiences, which only has heightened those trust um, issues for them. I'm seeing that your person needs healing. Healing from the past, healing from the past hurt, healing from the past pain here. Your person needs to deal with these some of this pain. They need to find a way. In, they, they've been suppressing it. They need to find a way to untangle some of these issues and some of these pain and this emotional pain and this emotional trauma that they feel. They need to find a way to heal some of these wounds. 
because whatever they don't heal, they're going to continue to carry that into all relationships, all future relationships, and it's going to cause a hindrance for all relationships here. So your person needs to do some healing, which is perhaps why you feel like they're blocked or why you feel like they can't come forward, or why you feel like they're scared of commitment. They are scared of commitment. I also feel like they're not ready for it. The Two of Pentacles tells me that your person is not... I don't think they're ready for it. I feel like there's quite... The commitment is not what they want right now. And even if it's something that they wanted... You know, sometimes people want a relationship, but they're not ready for it. So... They may want a relationship, they may want a future with you, but truth be told, they're not ready for it. They First, they need to work on themselves, they need to do some inner work, which is what's preventing this relationship from moving forward, or which is what's keeping them stagnated, or this overall relationship stagnated, is that your person, the reason why this isn't manifesting or moving forward, because the universe is saying, you know, um, hold the brakes, uh, you first need to work on yourselves, you first need to heal your energy, you first need to, you know, uh, improve build a better relationship with yourself and improve that relationship with yourself before you can go and build a relationship with anyone else because your person has insecurity issues i can tell they may feel as though they're not enough they're not worthy enough they may feel as though they're not strong enough they're not good enough they're not good looking enough for you they may feel as though that there's a lot of insecurity coming up through their energy and the relationship that you have with yourself essentially sets the tone for all future relationships. So they need to improve that relationship first. They are capable of love, and I feel like they do have a lot of love to give. It's just that in the past, they've given all this love to all the wrong people. And unfortunately, those people have hurt them and have scarred them. And this is why they are the way they are now. Unfortunately, those people, they've, you know, your person here has given other people such power over them that it's... I can see that they're so hurt and they're so wounded and they haven't healed those wounds. They also have commitment issues with the Seven of Cups. I feel like your person has is not a very decisive energy. They're very scattered energy. Some of you, I feel like strong Pisces is coming through. Your person is confused. Emotionally, they're confused. They want love, but they don't feel like they're de deserving of love. They want a relationship, but they're not ready for it. So I feel like they're constantly pulled in two different directions, okay? Which explains their inconsistent energy or their inconsistencies in behavior. They're very up and down. Um, it's quite an emotional roller coaster that they're on. I can see that. And sometimes they put you on this emotional roller coaster with them. But again, I feel like if, the, if your person doesn't work on some issues here, some internal issues, I feel like this what you have right now will continue to go in this infinity loop it'll continue to play out the way it's been playing out like a revolving door around and around without actually getting anywhere so your person needs to work on themselves first before they can work on the relationship with you i did mention earlier on that for some of you i see a third party connection now it actually could be an ex or it actually could be a another connecting energy around them and the reason why they're having a hard time progressing things with you is possibly because they're trying to progress things with the other person and maybe they're trying to keep you on the back burner or they're trying to keep you simmering just in case things don't work out with that relationship or maybe it's not that maybe it could be due to the fact that they're undecided they have strong feelings for you but they also have strong feelings for the other person you know they want something with you but they also want something with the other person so i see that they're in two minds about something so again, if it's not an actual person, an actual third party, I do feel like there's something he, it's like an external factor that's preventing them from moving forward. But I feel like there's either someone else in the picture, which is why things aren't moving forward for the two of you, or I feel like there's, they're still lingering on an ex or unresolved emotions there for an ex. Okay, so... Some inner work needs to happen first. Some healing needs to definitely happen. They need to be able to heal their hurt and heal their pain. They need to be able to sit with it no matter how painful or uncomfortable it is before they can actually build on this relationship with yourself. With Yeah, with yourself. Okay, guys, I do hope that these messages have been helpful for you, hopefully in helping your partner unblock some of this hurt and pain. I want to thank you guys all for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. Um, if the commenting section is open. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so do stay tuned, guys. Uh, and if you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Otherwise, bye for now.